I do one? Uh, I could talk to them. Hmm. Find out the origin of this one. You know what? I'm going to talk to them either way. Screw it. So, my son, so what can we do for you? Awesome. Oh, shoot. Uh, I was wondering if you might have seen an object like this here at the manor. What are you playing at, Derishe? I'm afraid I can't help you, my son. Ask someone who knows the manor better than I do. Uh, one of the servants, for example. One of them is bound to help you. Thank you for your advice, Your Eminence. Uh, please leave us, Monsieur. His Eminence and I wish to finish our discussion alone. So they don't want to talk to me at all. Monsieur Johann van Bunde. Alright, where do I gotta go? I don't know. I'm gonna see if I can go to my room. There's a balcony that I haven't really explored completely. Yeah, those things I was calling uh, President George jelly rolls, Washington. like the last, the last two episodes. I screwed that right up. It's actually royal jelly, not jelly rolls. Which makes sense when he goes, "Ah, oh, honey," because it's, it's it's royal honey, basically. Is this my room? Oh, next one. Hmm. Huh. That's me. Oh, but I can't enter my own room? <laughs> okay. So... Hmm. I wonder where I should go then. I still yet to go in here. Let's see if I can get there. definitely like things I'm missing in rooms because either I couldn't do it or just I don't know Chronicles of the Amber Princess as I oh, recall Dorkin was my favorite character ah I cannot remember where anything is anymore that's good But the conference room is under preparation and is consequently inaccessible to guests. Excuse me, but could you perhaps help me? That is what I am here for, sir. What can I do for you, sir? I'm trying to if this sword came from. From the garden, sir. That sword belongs to one of the statues in the garden. Thank you very <gasps> much. Do not mention it, sir. That's the forecourt. 
what? Oh, there's a subterranean. Oh, no. Where's the garden at? Balcony. Well, okay. I don't know where the garden is. Hmm. Can I go at the front door? I'll do it. Oh. No, you're just gonna make me look at the door. Crap. Anything here that I missed? sit down. <laughs> Dining hall, library, portrait gallery, service study. Oh, where is this? How am I supposed to get to a garden if I can't find it? <laughs> I don't want to go that way. I'm gonna go this way, I guess. Hmm. Let's. These are stairs out. No, I couldn't have been. Okay. Interesting. Oh, there's the alchemical symbol of the earth on the lid. Did I get the second key? <sighs> oh, it's only gonna cost me less. I'm doing it. Okay, not entirely worth it, but that's fine. Oh, never mind. Worth it. Just uh, must have been one of these pages, was it? Hmm. Where am I? And all of a sudden. really excited that I can go outside. <laughs> oh. 
sword probably <laughs> came from his garden, but what could have been used? Because it looks for? better than out than the winter that's here. Huh? Huh? Golden elixir. Ah, screw it. Okay, that was a waste because I'm full. Of golden elixir. Oh, <laughs> bro, I know, but I have to to progress. I've got to go outside. Okay, that's Peru. Let's, let's look around this garden first, shall we? Interesting. Okay. It's another puzzle. Hey, a Russian ruble. I wonder what would be worth today. Oh, no, I didn't see that. Oh, okay. It's okay. It only cost one, and then I got more royal jelly anyway, so. I'm at five. Five effort points. Coins, coins. I just want to check for all the little things before I start. Okay, the sword goes there. I know that. Or does it go there? Uh oh. <laughs> of course, it can't be that easy, right? Oh. Give me, give me, give me. We're doing better now, man. I don't like using all my royal jelly, but uh, I'm gonna need it. I know it. We got another statue there. I'm gonna look at these at all afterwards. I wanna talk to Peru before I. Probably like water will give me a little reprieve. Good. Good, 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 good. Yeah, I wanna talk to Peru before I uh, start doing the puzzle stuff. Squeeze through? Can I squeeze through? No. There's just another Side. Oh, yes. Did I get into the center yet or no? I don't feel like I have got to the center yet. This is a little m maze, isn't it? Yeah. statue to look at. Oh. oh! I wonder what this kiosk is doing in the middle of the garden. Too cramped to be able to do much. Well, there must be something going on there. Yeah, I'm not going to touch that yet. Alright. <laughs> yeah, you were right. I shouldn't have opened that one. I just got the earth key. Ah. Well. It is what it is. Oh, no. Circle. Where'd Peru go? Oh, jeez. Peru. <laughs> I'm stuck in the maze. I've never heard kiosk pronounced the way he said it either. Kiosk. <laughs> yeah. 
You again? You again? God damn it! Are you following me? Wouldn't dream of it, sir. Of it, sir. What nope. brings you here? <sighs> to tell the truth, I was wondering the same thing about <laughs> you. It's rare for guests to wander about in the garden. I wanted to be alone for five minutes. You look worried. Worried? No. Resolved would be a more exact term. Resolved to do what? What's the point in answering? You wouldn't believe me anyway. I'll be leaving now because whatever it is you're up to, I do not want to know. Be seeing you. Tell me, aren't you even curious? Curiosity killed the cat, Monsieur de Richet. I admit, I may have judged you wrongly. Watching you seek out Mortimer's little secrets might even be amusing if I didn't already know the consequences. See you later. What scares you so much? Don't mess with him, Monsieur. <laughs> if he offers his help, refuse it. Keep your freedom and get far away from here while you still can. Peru is sus. <laughs> Peru is sus. Okay. Well, inspection time. Ariadne. In Greek mythology, she helped Theseus get through the labyrinth. Hmm. Looks like there's a crack in the region of the heart. I guide this soul to kill the monster. If I recall the Iliad, Ariadne is none other than the daughter of Minos and Pasiphae. She was in love with Theseus and helped him in his quest to kill the Minotaur in return for a promise of marriage if he defeated the monster. She gave him a reel of thread so that he could find his way back through the labyrinth, which was famous for being unsolvable. But once the beast was slain, the gallant was quick to abandon her on an island. Well, it turns out heroes are not what they once were. Uh, let's see. Examine or thrust the sword into her chest. Okay. <laughs> What's going to happen if, if I've got it wrong? Ariadne knew. Ah. Oh. So let's see what happens. Follow the golden thread. Here's the we? famous Ariana's thread, thanks to which, if I remember rightly, Theseus avoided getting lost in the labyrinth. Um, okay. Don't think that's how a labyrinth works, but okay. Stupid bush! Get out of my way. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I need to go to that other. Locked up. <laughs> it's a dead end, though, so. It's not a very good. Help. Uh, it's not very helpful. Whatever. <laughs> we'll just go to the next one. Theseus, son of Aegeus, he's the one who slayed the Minotaur. I seem to recall he took the decision to confront the Minotaur. 
killed the beast, but if it weren't for Ariadne's help, he would have been trapped in that labyrinth forever. In short, yet another hero who wasn't the sharpest knife in the drawer. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm probably being a bit harsh. I mean, we do owe him the foundations of Athens. In other words, the Republic. Render therefore unto Caesar what is Caesar's. Wrongly positioned. Okay. I am the blind hero. Hmm. I wasn't expecting an inscription like that. Looks like a crack has been made on his torso. I got a feeling there's a minotaur for one of the statues, and that's where I'm supposed to put it. As long as a finger. What? I'd say between six and eight centimeters. That's what she said. I wonder if Mother managed to solve this enigma. Okay, I know exactly what I need to do, I think. I need my sword back, though. Oh, no. This is the worst maze I've ever been in. All the string does is get me confused. Okay. So, take the sword. Ariadne. Oh, uh, I don't know about a mature warning, but uh, I have it set up so that it is m mature. Give me the sword. Make sure my pull-out game is strong. Try something else. Where's the minotaur? I don't care about anything else. I mean, it's all history lessons and stuff and myth mythology lessons, but there is a minotaur and that was what was slain. So, where is it though? Oh. No! The worst part about this is like I can see over the maze and I still get lost. Okay. There it is. Asterion. It is rare to see him oh. like this. In general, he's represented with the head of a bull, with the features of the Minotaur, the famous son of Minos in Pasiphae. Asterion was the son of Pasiphae and Minos, or rather the result of a curse put on Minos. Minos was punished for betraying Poseidon. Of course, as strangely it often happens, it wasn't he who was punished, it was his wife. She had to mate with a bull, no less. From that union, Asterion was born, who everyone knows as the famous Minotaur. Yeah. Rejected by Minos, he was shut up in the labyrinth so he could never leave. And, as if that wasn't bad enough, he died by the hand of a hero desperate to restore his reputation. Technically, Asterion is the victim of the story because he's described as a child cast out from birth. Born from an extramarital union because of the errors of his father, he was treated as an outcast all his life. And he died as innocently as he was born. A tragic story, as the Greeks knew how to do so well. The statue has a crack the crack. In it. We'll soon see. Well, considering he's got like two or three other swords in him, I figure it's the right one. Okay. Now I'm going to go... Wait. How did I get so lost? Anyway. What is that? Looks like a sort of opening mechanism. sure if I get yep. it wrong, I'll, I'll get pricked. Damn you, Mortimer. Reminds me of traps I studied in Egyptian tombs. Knowing Mortimer, I bet it's booby-trapped. 
Oh, what? There's a little hole at the fingers. I'm pretty sure if I get it wrong, I'll, I'll Did get I hit pricked. the same one twice? Damn you, Mortimer. Reminds me of traps I studied in Egyptian tombs. Weird. Oh, hold on. Let's read this first. It's up to the just to deliver judgment. Truth unlocks all possibilities. Hmm. It looks like this slab moves. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if there was a passageway underneath it. Check around it one more time. Hopefully I got the sword in the right place. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, what's wrong? Either Nothing. I'm imagining things or my hand was pricked. It had poison on it. My head. It's okay. I'd I healed it. Hot. Shut up. You shouldn't. I healed you. Dumbass. Hmm. Alright. Daedalus. He's the architect of the labyrinth. And if I'm not mistaken, he's also the father of Icarus. Architect and genius inventor. He built the labyrinth for Minos to imprison the Minotaur. I seem to recall that he told Ariadne how to get out of the labyrinth by tying a thread to himself. So, Theseus managed to exit the labyrinth without trouble once the beast was dead. And when Minos found him, he threw him into his own labyrinth along with his son Icarus. Every action causes a reaction. Hey, there's a crack in this statue, too. The crack is thin and about as long as a finger. I gotta check them all out, eh? Oh, I already did that one. I wonder if Mother managed to solve this enigma. Minos. Son of Zeus and Europa. If I remember correctly, he was the king of Crete. Married to Pasiphae, he had many children, including the famous Ariadne, whom history remembers for her thread. Hey, there's a crack in that statue. Uh huh. This gesture sealed his fate. In That's mythology, freebie. King Minos was known as a wise and just king, despite the fact that he deceived Poseidon. As punishment, his country was devastated by the white bull of the sea god, and his wife became passionately in love with it. From their union, Asterion was born. Sadly known to us as the Minotaur. The illegitimate child, the child of shame, who had a sorry fate. And to think that Minos ended up as a judge of the underworld. Decidedly, the high and mighty always managed to get away with it. Okay, well we know the crack is the same in every single one. Let's take this sword. Did it? I am the cursed child. Let's 
There's gonna be one or two more statues I haven't looked at. Icarus. <coughs> Excuse me. Son of oh. Daedalus and Milkrate. Impossible to mistake him with those wings. After flying too close to the sun, he came unstuck and he fell to his death. Pity. I have no pity for that. Uh... If I remember rightly, Icarus was the son of Daedalus. He found himself confined to the labyrinth with his father after his father betrayed Minos. And his father's plan to escape from the labyrinth wasn't any more successful. Man, that kid was jinxed. Gotta hey, do it, yo. There's no crack here. Well, let's keep going. Okay. So, that was a lot of points, but okay. I was hoping it was going to be more useful than... Oh, nothing. Who am I missing? Pasiphae. They... Daughter of Perseus and sister of Circe. She married Minos and became the queen of Crete. I seem to recall that her faith was not something you'd want. She was punished for the sins of her husband. She had to mate with the sacred bull of Poseidon. Nine months later, she gave birth to Asterion, better known as the Minotaur. <sighs> oh, it's well. crazy to see to what extent women have always been mistreated. When they're not harpies, gorgons, and other witches, they become victims. Yeah, okay, you leave witches out of this. Oh. All right, well, let's continue anyways. There's no... Uh no crack, so I'm not even gonna, not even gonna, not even gonna hit the, oh god damn it, not even gonna hit that option. this goes because I'm pretty sure wherever this ends up is the one I have to put it the sword in. Ah Okay, can't walk around there. This is hard to follow. here Theseus looks like a crack has been made on his torso <laughs> get pricked again. Um. Oh. Okay. Not what I was actually trying to go for, but uh, I'm getting lost again. <laughs> Honestly, I would just walk through all these bushes in real life. I wouldn't even care at this point. Is there something? No, I can't even. Okay. 
Take the other swords out. A stereon. The statue has a crack in it. Okay, but can I take the other swords? The crack is thin and about as long as a <sighs> finger. I should be able to thrust in my sword. Asterion, son of Mingos and Pasiphae. Asterion, who had such a sad fate and who the legend portrays as the horrible Minotaur. Study the mechanism? Okay. Let's go. I thought I did already, but I will go back and check. I have a feeling putting it in him was the right call, but something else is not right. I don't know. I wonder if I'm supposed to do it in a certain order or... No, see, yeah, I already did that. It's his choice already made. something else instead already then can I scoot no and these don't do anything Makes sense for it to go into him. Asterion. I don't know. The statue has a crack in it. <laughs> Who haven't Let's I put go. the sword in yet? That sounds weird. Minos. I haven't stabbed Minos yet. The crack is in the region of the heart. I'll stab them all. <laughs> Let's go get pricked yet again. prick does it take to get the staircase? Opa! Woot woot. Down we go. Again? This isn't because I got pricked. He has visions. Which is interesting because if he's having nosebleeds and like massive migraines and he has visions, that would suggest he's psychic. That's somewhat the type of. 
psychic ability. Uh, you can't be serious, Manuel. You know that's not going to happen. <laughs> right, like you he has like, these out-of-body experiences. Now. I have agreed to everything. Even to agreed? I wasn't aware you had a choice. What's going on here? I... What now? What else must I do to win back my freedom? Kiss my shoes. Me. Now get out! Close enough. <laughs> what was that? That's the third time in three days. If you're hearing wrestling, I'm just putting a hoodie on. A little bit cold. There we go. Down, down, down the stairs. Is that my blood? No. Let's see if you're you're in there, mother. Suspicious. Consult okay, your journal. Ooh, a coin. A fragment of amber. Touche. That is not a coin. Bandages. Hmm. Someone's been patching themselves up. Looks like my mother took advantage of being in hiding to change her bandages, huh? This is silk. She must have used her own clothes. These bandages are pretty basic. Should be lucky if she doesn't get an infection. Take his mask and his clothes. Let me dress up as one of them. <laughs> it's the best way to infiltrate. Damn it, mother. Now what's happened? Uh oh. Yeah, it is pretty. Oh. Definitely needs to go up. Alright. I'll let you pick one. Uh, logic. Questioning. Agility. Diversion. Linguistics. Politics. Conviction and etiquette. Agility? Okay. And I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do questioning. There we go. Next one? Alright, let's go. An eternity later. The only thing I can tell you oh. is that Sarah had indeed changed. In your opinion, why would your mother remain in hiding over several weeks? You must leave me alone now. I have agreed to everything, even to... But you do realize your mother will have to accept the consequences of her acts. 
I hope that your search will prove successful and bring Sarah back to us soon. I'll be leaving now because whatever it is you're up to, I do not want to know. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister Emma. Emily Hillsborough. The woman with two faces. Everyone seems to be a little unnecessarily heated. Don't forget where you are, please. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Edited. Linguistics. Diversion. Politics. Fiction. I'm gonna do that one for sure. I'll let you pick another one. Etiquette, linguistics, diversion, politics, conviction, manipulation, or occultism. Manipulation? Okay. Mm. I'm gonna go with politics for the last one. Politics and manipulation go hand in hand, right? And the trade Ashley. Louis. Louis, the conference is about to start any minute. This is not the time Speaking to be... about politics. <laughs> Damn it. What's going on? Thank you. Uh, I, I don't know exactly, Mr. President. I was looking for my mother and I, I came upon this body. My God. You don't think Sarah did it, do you? I don't think so. Thank you. Why would she <laughs> I was having trouble the surface. If no one saw you, I'd advise you not to get involved, Lee, so that no one will accuse you of the murder. Thank you, Mr. President. Ah, oh, darn. The conference is starting. Time is of the essence. Sort this out and join us as quickly as you can in the conference room. Everyone will be expecting you. Mr. President, this is not really the right time, and I, I didn't come for that. Your mother's seat cannot remain vacant. You must replace her while she's still missing. Your mother and I were to support Mortimer on this project. I don't know what the subject is, but the future of our countries depends on it. Given the importance of all this to Mortimer, he won't let the conference begin without you. So if you don't want more servants coming looking for you, I'd advise you to join us quickly and to put a brave face on it. The best favor you can do for yourself, Louis, and for Sarah, is to come and support Mortimer's project at the conference. Don't worry. You can count on me, Mr. President. I shall help you with Mortimer's project as soon as I finished up here. Good, Louis. Sarah would be proud of you. I'll stall them while you're on your way, but make haste. I'm going. Don't be long. Tell them that I'm on my way. Just tell them I'm taking a big shit. Oh, he's dead. What the hell is no going shit. on here? Somebody smashed him in the back of his head with something. He slowly bled to death. That isn't what killed him. It broke his neck. Who is the man beneath hmm. the mask? Let's see what secrets hidden under these masks. His face doesn't ring a bell. I'm a bit disappointed. I might have expected more from Lord Mortimer. Mother, this is your doing. The situation is getting worse and worse. Uh, okay. Leftover okay. food. Ugh, 
Not exactly fresh. Must have been here for a while. An old blanket. From the looks of it, it couldn't have kept her very warm. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's good. Um, what? Did I come in from... I'm confused. Wait, which way did I come in from? Okay. And the gate is locked. made a fire here and the ashes are still warm if you're the one who did it mother it couldn't have been easy with only one hand I'm gonna use my I freebie just missed her if only I hadn't wasted so much no time more. getting out of Lord Mortimer's study I know I still got five effort points though that's why I didn't mind using the freebie can't really see too many skill or too many checks using like three all right where do I need to go I think I need to go I need to go to wherever this room is, so I just need to leave this place. I need to get right out of here. Well, that doesn't help. Son of a... Circles for days. Can I do it on my first, first attempt? Oh, hell yeah. One little mistake and I got it. Good. You're what, sorry? Hey, good job, good job. Oh, was that running? Yeah, this is running. <laughs> it's a mild jog. Alright, so I need to go the other way. Excuse me? Oh, okay, it's just the paintings. It'd be kind of rude to walk, run, run full tilt through this manor, I think. Probably be kind of sus, too. <laughs> Straight ahead. Yep, nice. Peru just wants to go home, you can tell. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Oh, I don't really want to talk to anybody until I look around the room. Amber crystal. I was wrong. I have already told her so once. By your desire. Are you quite sure, sir? Is there not a little mistake somewhere? Yes, because she asked him at last, and he could not help answering, but she said he seemed quite angry at being spoken to. 
Yeah, the music's really nice. It's calm. Look at all those effort points. And I got an extra spot for one, too. So that's good. I done my full circle yet? Okay. To the center. Excellent. Golden elixir. Consume without excess. Hmm. I'm gonna go talk to these people here. My son, glad you're here. It seems Lord Mortimer is being waiting yeah, Royal for Jelly's you to dope. arrive before beginning. What a pity your mother isn't here for the conference. I hope I'll be able to see her before I leave. I still have a very important letter to give to her. Feeling all right, Louis? You look like you're miles away. Everything's fine. Don't worry. Lord Mortimer wants to talk to you, Louis. Don't make him wait. That's Mortimer over there, so... Wait. Yeah. Let's talk to Pedro first. I don't first. know if you ever found what you were looking for in the garden, but Mortimer is waiting for you. I suggest you get a move on. You say it as if you were afraid of him. He's still a dick. Oh, it's already gonna cost me one point. I sense that you have things you'd like to say, <laughs> but something's holding you back. What is going on between you two? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I believed in him. I followed him to the best of my ability. I championed his ideas, defended his decisions, and then, without even realizing it, I became lost. The siren's song, Monsieur de Richet. So you wake up one morning, not knowing where you are, and you think about everything you've done for a man who wasn't even worth it. For a man who has no respect for you, who uses you, and who drops you as soon as he no longer needs you. For me, it's too late now. But you, you still have a choice. Don't respond to his call, sir. Daddy sounds like a fuckboy. Wait, is this Mortimer? Your conjecture Wait. is totally wrong, I assure you. I have just... Good uh, evening, gentlemen. Are we ready? The much awaited conference is about to begin? That is what we have all been waiting for. <laughs> I believe that Lord Mortimer wishes <laughs> to speak to you before it begins. You should go and see him. Are you quite sure? In, in the last episode, uh, I can't remember who it was, but somebody was talking about Mortimer, and it just made him sound like a sugar daddy. So I decided I'm just going to call Mortimer daddy. And then the way Pre Peru just uh, described him made him sound like, well, Peru sounded like every woman who's been with like an abusive male partner. <laughs> Hence why I said daddy sounds like a fuckboy. Ah, Louis, I've been expecting you. Uh, thank you for joining us. We are about to begin our conference. Let me explain what is at stake. Thank you kindly, but what do you expect of me exactly? My mother's the one who's supposed to attend, not me. That is indeed what was initially intended. Unfortunately, she still hasn't been found, and my guests can't stay here indefinitely. The conference must begin, and it would be truly beneficial to the Order to join in the project. Consequently, I would like you to replace her during her absence. What is at stake here is of the utmost importance. It's important that the French Order gets their say. And should you need any advice, don't worry. You are not alone, Louis. Very well.
Can you give me a brief oh. explanation of the aim of it all? Of course, Louis, I was coming to that. The aim of these meetings is to bring together the most influential people in order to think together about the future. But the future Illuminati. of the world, Louis. Our desire is to steer the destiny of our respective countries for the good of all and to no longer suffer the random hazards of history. Illuminati. <laughs> In concrete terms, how do you organize your discussions? A conference is always organized the same way. There are two masters of ceremony who determine an important subject. You and Sir Greg. Uh, I, I am pausing this in the middle of dialogue. Is that really an emote on there? Because that's hilarious. There's an Illuminati symbol. Yeah, that's presume. great. Exactly. We shall be the masters of ceremony. It was our obligation to each bring to the table several guests in order to debate a subject. Once the debate is closed, a decision will be made by a vote of all the participants. By a unanimous vote. If the project is not agreed on by all, then it will be rejected. And neither of the two masters of ceremony have the right to vote. It's up to the guests alone to decide, Louis. In other words, us. Gregory and myself are merely the go-betweens. Finally, if the project is validated, each guest goes home and starts working to make it happen. It can take years. Mm. Uh, I just whacked my drink off my mic. Alright. Give me like two minutes, I'll be right back. And we're back. God, neurotropics go through me fast. Okay. Actually, before I continue this, I'll have to take a picture for you, Rock, and send it to you. It's my, uh... Certificate of Authenticity. How long have you been active? Oh, this tradition has more or less always existed, Louis. It has continued from generation to generation. Yes, it is. Do you often hold this kind of society dinner? In general, once a year, but in actual fact, it tends to be events that dictate our gatherings. Authenticity of membership. Can you give me an example of an event that was decided here before being implemented in the outside world? Well, take the French Revolution. It was decided right here two years before its implementation in France. Concerning the case of the French Revolution, I wasn't invited, but as far as the American Revolution is concerned, Louis, I can testify that we planned it five years before implementing it, for example. Uh, let's just say... I'm currently near the bottom of the pyramid. Louis, let me keep you a moment. I would like to let you in on a secret before we begin, because I'm going to need your assistance. You see, the project I'm going to present concerns the territory of Louisiana in North America. It's currently Spanish territory, and I'm going to make the proposition to the Assembly for it to become French. But how does that concern me? Well, you see, I prepared this project with your mother. We began thinking about a crazy idea. Unfortunately, Sarah went missing before getting the bigger picture. I don't intend to stop at Louisiana. My idea is to increase the territory of the United States. The first stone of this vast project consists of getting Spain to cede Louisiana to France. Once it becomes French, France will hand it over to the United States, which will then allow them to double the size of their territory. And that's where you come oh, in. France and the United States, hand in hand. Two democracies illuminating the world. Ah, there it is. Illuminated. Politics. 
gosh, name. Lord Mortimer, I'm sure you're aware that Louisiana is hardly prime quality land. I wouldn't be exaggerating to call it marshland. How is acquiring land they won't know what to do with going to strengthen the United States? Think further, Louis. The United States won't okay. stop there. Once they've acquired Louisiana, nothing will stop them. All they would have to do then is keep pushing toward the west to take the whole North American continent. So you intend to get rid of the Spanish? They are purely transitory. This is the settlers' home. It is natural for them to want to develop their nation to become one of the greatest powers of this world. As for the Spanish, there are just a handful of them actually on site. And if need be, you'll see to it that they are sufficiently occupied in Europe so that their focus is not on the North American continent. Moreover, Spain really only cares about its colonies in South America. It's hardly my fault if they are not capable of seeing the potential in the North American territories. The concept of royalty is from bygone times. It is time to lead the way to democracy. Take a look at them. Apart from President Washington, they all belong to monarchies. Do you really think they won't resist? Of course they'll fight, fearful as they are of losing their precious privileges. But the world needs visionaries, like you, like your mother. It's a pity Sarah isn't here to see it. She only knew about a tiny part of the project. I hope I can count on you, Louis. It's time to start now. I must ask you to keep it to yourself for the time being. Take a seat, follow the discussions. We'll have an opportunity to catch up later, and you'll be able to let me know your thoughts. Sounds good, Daddy. My friends, I propose we get started. First of all, I would like to thank you for taking the time to come. The honor is ours, my lord. As per our custom, here we are all together to discuss the face of tomorrow's <coughs> world. Even though there may be certain tensions between our nations, I must ask you to keep an open mind. As Sarah de Richet is unable to be among us, please welcome Louis de Richet, who will represent the Golden Order and will vote on its behalf when the time comes. Welcome among us, Louis. Welcome, Monsieur. I hope he'll be more effective than his mother regarding the protection of the King of France. The order has proved particularly inefficient. Come, Manuel, you're not going to spoil our visit. The order's mission was not to protect King Louis XVI, as far as I am aware. We are talking about a king of divine blood, for goodness sake. It seemed obvious to me he needed protecting. If the Golden Order wants to pride itself on being an influential organization, it should have kept him alive. Thank you all. I am honored to be among you today. I will strive to represent the interests of the Order as best I can. Perhaps we may begin, Lord Mortimer. Certainly. I have a dream that our nations will continue to support each other more now than ever before. A dream that, for the sake of common good, we will do what it takes to ensure stability in the modern world. I have a dream that we shall lead by example and ensure that the American territory may remain in peace. Thank you for the thought, Lord Mortimer, but I don't see where you're leading. I'm coming to it, Mr. President. I need not remind you that North America is currently divided between the United States on the East Coast and Spain, which occupies the remaining two-thirds of the continent. Well, I propose that Spain cede the center of the continent to France, namely all of Louisiana. Louisiana? But, well, it is not for sale. Lord Mortimer. I sincerely hope I have not come all this way just to hear you ramble on about what Spain should and should not do. When we went to all the trouble of gaining the territory a few years ago, it was not just to lose it today. 
Have I made myself clear? What did I tell you? He doesn't you? get it. You speak of unions, and yet here you are about to tear us apart. Duke Manuel, I perfectly understand you. But rest assured, you will soon adore my proposition. You shall see. Well, since you give me the choice, my good fellow, allow me to doubt it. However, I am impatient to hear what Spain could possibly gain from the sale of Louisiana. I never spoke of a sale, my good fellow. What? But I, I do not understand. There is one more territory left to conquer, if I'm not mistaken, in the Northwest. It is, of course, occupied by your notorious Indians, but... We shall soon be rid of the savages, so that is not the question. Duke, these savages, as you call them, were there before you. They are on their homeland. As much as the black people of Africa, Monsieur de Richet, that does not stop your dear France from massacring them and sending them like cattle to Mr. Washington's cotton plantations to provide him with cheap labor. So you keep your morals to yourself, if you please. Senor, I would not like to be associated with that. The subject of black slaves in the United States of America is a complex subject, which we shall resolve at a future date. I'm gonna let you choose, man. Shall I call me filthy swine? No. Challenge him. Filthy spy. It uh, obviously doesn't stop you from sleeping at night. Not in the least. Do not imagine I have anything against the American Indians or the blacks. That uh, is not the question. But business is business. It is the natural order of things, Monsieur de Richet. There have always been men who govern other men. That is simply the way it is. Man didn't might as well be the likes of you who rule. Is that right? But of course. Come now, my friend. Let us not digress. Any I didn't, did he? And these primitive people have no souls, Lucy. We bring the good <laughs> word to them in order to save them. Oh, so racist. You'll see. Colonization brings with it many benefits, too. Uh, excuse me, if you don't mind, Your Eminence, uh, I shall continue. Duke Manuel, I believe that Spain should cede Louisiana to France free of charge. This is utterly grotesque, Lord Mortimer. What a strange example you set for your young protege. Isn't that so, Monsieur de Richet? Do you understand anything of this proposition? Oh. I'm gonna go with this one, but I'm gonna do it for free. No, I don't want to do nothing. I want to aggravate. The if I were you, Senor Godoy, I would think twice before stirring up a scandal. I beg your pardon. Given the size of your <laughs> colonies, you won't be able to keep them for long. Excuse me. A number of countries are eyeing them as we speak. The United States would have no trouble taking them. For all intents and purposes, you have no army in place. By wanting to keep everything, you risk losing it all, especially your colonies in South America which are far more valuable to you. That is indeed the danger, Duke Manuel. If it comes to war over Louisiana, you will lose, and probably a good deal more than you now imagine. Young man, you are indeed a dark horse, aren't you? I Fuck yeah. must say, William, <laughs> I find your project mostly disfavors me. I thought you were my friend. And I am, Mr. President. That is why I'm doing everything in my power to calm your expansionist fervor. France, in Louisiana, should persuade you not to attempt anything to take the territory by force. Louisiana is a vast wetland where you would needlessly lose most of your troops. It would weaken you and offer certain nations the perfect opportunity to take back your famous United States. I am protecting you from yourself, George. Trust me. I understand. But with friends like you, sir, I certainly don't need any more enemies. I hope you know what you're doing. 
So I'm trying to take a business stance on this. Am I imagining That's things? That's another or reason. Does it look like Washington isn't aware of Mortimer's plan? Not to put no. too fine a point on it, Lord Mortimer, uh, but I doubt the Holy See would be in favor of Catholic Louisiana being handed over to secular revolutionaries and king killers. I should think Monsieur de Richet has an opinion on this subject, does he not? Oh, absolutely. Your eminence, have no fear over that. I am sure France will do everything in its power to protect the Christians of Louisiana. My young friend, how can you come out with such a remark after the discussion we had on the evening of your arrival? If France was so respectful of worship, it would not be bleeding priests as it is doing at this very moment in time. Don't be naive. This is politics. The Holy See must be concerned at seeing such a large territory falling into the hands of the French. Mi auguro che insegnerete l'educazione a questo giovanotto presuntuoso, Sir Gregory. I hope that you will teach this pretentious young man some manners, Sir Gregory. It looks like I won't be just making friends here. In any case, my lord, Ooh. I doubt the English crown will agree. Ich will sicher ein, wenn Emily nie Preußen wird diese Vereinbarung akzeptieren. I assure you, Emily, the Prussian will never accept this agreement. Volman looks like he's set on ruining Mortimer's plan. Duchess, I am persuaded that we shall find a common ground. That's enough, William. These are great times. We don't care about the fate of Louisiana. That worthless expanse of putrid swamps interests no one but yourself. Speak for yourself, my friend. Hold on there, Mr. Royal Gigolo. Lower the volume <laughs> and let Sir Gregory finish. Huh. Did you just call him a gigolo? <laughs> Home, Godoy, and now Volner? Mortimer's adversaries are ready to tear each other to pieces, and he takes a malicious pleasure in watching it happen. How yep. dare Gentlemen, you? Gentlemen, let us try to remain calm. There you are, William. See where your projects have taken us, as per usual. Chaos! That's enough. I'm tired. We shall continue this discussion tomorrow, but please be aware that your project will never be ratified. Those who are opposed to this project... Follow me. Are you coming with us, Monsieur de Richet? Come, Gregory. I think Louis would rather stay. Wouldn't you, Louis? Yes, As for me, I think I shall remain with Lord Mortimer, <laughs> Sir Gregory. You are committing a grave error, Louis. Time will tell. In their frustration, they become weak. In their weakness, Mortimer finds strength. He knows what he's doing. His family's been doing this for hundreds of years. I trust the head of the Illuminati more than I do the rest of the politicians. I mean the Golden Order, sorry. My friends, I would like to thank you for staying. Good God, William. What is this I hear about you reinforcing military power in Louisiana? I have no interest in having France for a neighbor, and you know that very well. Calm down, George. Louis, explain our plan to Mr. Washington, please. You see, Mr. President, Lord Mortimer anticipates that once France obtains Louisiana, they will cede it to you. What do you mean? To us? The United States? You heard right. But I... President Washington, the United States will double in size. By what miracle have you... You need to expand, George. You and France are the two major democracies in the modern world. It is necessary that you both become superpowers. Are you really going to sponsor democracy throughout the world? Of course, Monsieur Pérou. That's why I don't want Spain to get too attached to those weapons. 
Uh, please continue, Louis. Explain my vision to Mr. President. By going to France, Spain won't suspect that it's you who's going to take possession of Louisiana. They'll even believe that France will be a protective buffer between itself in California and you on the East Coast. If Senor Godoy was afraid that you might take the territory by force, now he is reassured. You would never attack France. But why didn't you tell me before? So, home doesn't see it coming, but by the time it dawns on Senor Godoy, it'll be too late because he'll realize that he's just lost all the North American continent. We all know that you won't stop once the path is cleared before you. What do you mean? You see, Monsieur Pelleur, it's very likely that once Louisiana becomes American, President Washington will push out even more and take the West Coast. William, you haven't changed. Always one step ahead. One step ahead? You're joking. More like five. On that note, my friends, it's getting late. Yep. Mr. President, continue to take offense over my project when we resume the conference in the morning. You do it to a T. And if Sir Gregory has the audacity to send you an emissary to convince you to go against me, do me a favor. String him along if you can. The more they believe we are divided, the more we'll have our hands free. Only too happy to oblige. Now, let us get some rest. We've got a big day tomorrow. Good night, gentlemen. Good night. Good night. Louis, if you have a minute, I would like to ask a favor of you. I'm going to require your services. How can I be of help? Tell me all about it. Our adversaries are many, and the closing vote of the conference will soon be upon us. Time is of an essence. So, I'll need you to assist me this evening. How can I help? I need you to go this very evening to persuade Senor Godoy to join us. He is the backbone of Gregory's resistance. Turn him round, and all the others will follow in such a stampede that Gregory will be able to do nothing but admit defeat. Lord Mortimer, with all due respect, don't you think I'm the last person Godoy wants to talk to? I'm sure you can do it. Absolutely. I believe in you the point Is this Mortimer, free? it's free you're not telling me everything let's say i wouldn't disapprove if the right honorable though nonetheless choleric duke manuel put you in his bad books if it could motivate him to declare war on france it would greatly serve our interests war what do you mean i told you before the conference the more we distract Spain from the Americas, the less it will have an eye on Louisiana. But all the same, we're talking about a war in Europe. Don't worry. That's why Mr. Bonaparte is with us. I am convinced we'll be perfectly capable of managing the conflict. And Senor Godoy is not a great soldier. He will not commit Spain to a long war that he won't be capable of managing. I'll go straight away. Thank you, my boy. Thank you. And Get some rest afterwards. Big day tomorrow. He hasn't noticed that his bird's dead yet. This is... Hey, Waldo. <gasps> oh, it won't let me push the button again. Okay. Aren't you afraid our projects for Italy may be discovered before we... Oh, uh, please excuse us, Louise, but I need to speak with Lord Mortimer in private. No, no. What do you want, Louis? I'm going to have a word with Duke Manuel, but you know him better than I do, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Avoid any yeah, marks of respect and protocol pertaining to his rank. He's not fond of courtly manners. Thank you for the advice, my lord. I shall be leaving you. Alright. I need... Oh. 
Ah, oh, sweet. I got all the traits now. Get away, get away. Where is he? Wait, what? Duchess. Don't hurt. Perry. Where did I need to go? Well, downstairs either way, so let's get downstairs first. I just gotta find Kadoi's room. Monsieur Johann von Wunder. President George Washington. Monseigneur, His Eminence Cardinal Piaggi. No. Which one is good? Huh. That's me. That's weird. Oh. Duke Manuel Godoy. Ah, Monsieur de Richet. Uh, you wouldn't have seen Duke Manuel by any chance, would you? I was going to ask you the same question. I wanted to speak to him, but no one will open the door. I'm not sure he's in there. If I want to pass through, I'll have to get Volner out of the way. Manipulate? Should I manipulate him? Oh no, that's... I don't want to screw it up too bad. These these are the only two, like... That's the only one I don't want to do. I have a feeling that will go really, really bad. I want to try to be really, really, really sly. So, either manipulate... I'm a manipulator. You tell him to look somewhere else. I've searched all over the manor, but I can't find him. One thing's for sure, Monsieur de Richet. He's neither in his room nor on this floor. I've just looked all over. I propose we both look for him. The first to find him tells the Duke that the other is also looking for him. Agreed? Perfect. Let's do that. And I shall have a look in the library. If you find the Duke before me, tell him I want to speak to him. Yes. Yes. Let's proceed as you say. Thank you, Monsieur de Richet. Right. Now be a good boy and go look somewhere else. say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. Yeah, you say that every time I pick it up. Okay. Oh, I can go on the balcony here. Manuel Godoy. 
a painting of himself in his room. Now that's not going to help him develop a sense of modesty. Lord Duke, here is the information obtained by our intelligence service. I can confirm that Mr. Hay is indeed working on an agreement with Great Britain. The aim seems to be seems to be to weaken the French economy and oh, and secretly that of the Spanish by seizing merchandise at sea. Now treasuries are already suffering from the embargo on French food products. Such a treaty would mean the ruin of our colonies. I have no doubt that you will be able to swiftly find a diplomatic solution awaiting further instructions. Mary Louise of Parma. <laughs> How ironic having a painting of the Queen of Spain in one's room, my Lord Duke. Hmm. It looks like someone's hidden something on the back of this painting. It's a letter. Excellent. Of course. It's written in Spanish. I can read that. It reeks of lavender. Well, well, Monsieur Godoy. You seem very interested in hiding this letter. Another secret romance, I presume? Free for free. So, let's see what it says. I'm gonna dig up as much as I can from this guy. My tender Pepita. Pepita? Yeah, okay. I feel so guilty at being so far away from you again, even if it's for the good of my country. I feel awful at having to leave you after a silly little spat because you were the only woman I loved. Josepha, forever. I told you before, everything I have, everything I can offer you, I owe to the affection of the queen. Let's stay united, please, even in sacrifice. For the two of us, for our future children. Stop being jealous. You are the only one who fills my thoughts. Everything else is just a game, I swear. It seems that the Queen isn't the only one enjoying uh -huh. the Lord Duke's favors. Mm. If the Queen found out, it would cost him dearly. I'll keep it with me. You never know. <laughs> oh, yes. All right. Anything else on the table? Great. Honey. Honey. The Kiss of Judas, painted by Caravaggio. This is how Judas pointed out Christ to the Roman soldiers. Can you imagine a worse betrayal? Don Quixote. Talking without thinking is like shooting without taking aim. Hmm. I have to think about that one. Really? Prometheus. Punished for stealing fire from the gods and giving it to man. Hmm. Golden elixir. Consume without excess. Amber. He said that weirder than usual. <laughs> Amber. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, I heard it. Where is it? Charles the Fourth of Spain. Now there's no chance of Godoy forgetting who he owes <laughs> everything to. Interesting statue. Devil's Thorn. Brutus and his companions taking an oath to kill Caesar. Oh. Oh, I thought I saw something. Oh well. Outside we go. It's probably where he is, is out on the deck or something. Or not.
the other door, I guess. Is this mother effort in my room? I've never been in this room before. Or I have yet to be in this room. Yet to be in this room. My dear Giuseppe, poor health forbids me from joining you. Please thank Sir Gregory for his invitation to Lord Mortimer's. I'm convinced you'll be able to strengthen our agreement. Please tell Sir Gregory that his enterprise concerning our friend Cardinal Bishop Chiaramonti is following its course. I place my trust in you. May God bless you and give you protection. SS Giovanni Angelico Grassi. Satan summoning his legions. This is rather surprising for the decoration of a cardinal's room. No, it's not. <laughs> At least it's not to me. Something I'd expect. Wait, am I in the cardinal's room? Ah, that's hilarious. Destruction of the Temple of Jerusalem by Francesco Hayes. The Roman destruction by Titus and his army. What violence. Take the cake. Oh. Colonel Lightwater will give me a little reprieve. His Holiness Pope Pius VI by Pompeo Fatoni. This should help Piaggio feel at home. Torquemada, quite the contrast. Wow, the fanatical priest who created the Inquisition. Sends shivers down the spine. Venus and Cupid with a satyr by Correggio. Innocence, indiscretion, and lechery. Giuseppe must love that. Yeah, the agility is mainly used for reaching from what I've, I've gathered. This is a love very uh, occulty priest. Now there's Sorry, someone for whom the sex of angels is no mystery. So close. The Lying Girl by Boucher. Here's a painting of mischievous eroticism. I wonder what Piaggi must think of this. The Rape probably of the Daughters of Musipus by Rubens. Surprising choice for his eminence Piaggi. Let me use a freebie. Amber Crystal. That was worth it, actually. Okay. John the Baptist, youth with a ram, a Caravaggio. A very sensual vision and very far from the usual representations of St. John. Well, John the Baptist is where Baphomet came from. As the Templars did their crusades, John the Baptist was considered to have the highest level of Kundalini energy. 
out of any human being at the time. And even when he was decapitated, the Templars would carry his head around because they considered it to still be containing all that Kundalini energy. And thus immortalized him as the Baphomet. It's the shorthand version anyway. I heard something ding. What was it? Oh, it might have been a door. Yeah, the Templars would actually carry his head. They kept it for a while because they considered it to still be con so powerful. <coughs> so where am I now? My room. Okay. Amber Crystal. Finally. by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. And lovely lectures Mortimer is giving to his guests. The Saint Francis of Assisi in ecstasy. The conversion of Saint Paul is like Caravaggio. It's incredible. It doesn't look like a copy, but I was sure the original was in Rome. This is gonna sound messed up, but this is actually Saturn devouring one of my favorite paintings. Again? <laughs> I saw the same theme in the hall. I wouldn't like to be his son. I've pretty much read all those and stuff. I don't know where Godoy is. Chelly. Judgment. Why do I always get the most terrifying room? Dear Monsieur de Richet. Oh, I read that at the beginning of the game. Okay. I need to find Godoy. For sure. He's not in his room. No, he's not in my room. He's not in his room. He's not in the. Uh, um. The emissary's room. So I'm gonna head down. S wait. George Washington. Random room? Let's go. Okay. Already did all this. Don't think there's anything new in here. Do 
a lap, see if I can find him upstairs before I head downstairs. Jelly. Wait a second. Hey, Bruce's name tag's fallen off, and his door is ajar. The door is ajar. No, it's a door. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dad humor. <laughs> Massacre of the Innocents by Rubens. A bit gloomy. Guess my room is not that bad. Oh, no. oh yeah, okay. This is Peru's room. What? Dear Monsieur Peru, I'm writing to thank you for the funds you sent. These funds will be crucial in the renovation of the western wing of the orphanage. The children you sent are doing marvelously well, and little Pierre will soon be walking. Some of them still sometimes suffer nightmares about their parents on the scaffold, but I expect they will cease in due course. Should you decide to send us more, please note that another 20 beds will soon be ready. The children and myself will never thank you enough. Long live the Republic. Long live France. Sister marie -Alain. All right, I've retrieved everything. All right. I've retrieved every Okay, I don't know what you meant by that. That must have been from another mission then. My dear little Eleanor, I wanted to share with you my calmer thoughts of the moment. Needless to say how much I miss you and how much I regret having to be separated from you. But I know you will be virtuous, courageous, and safe with your sister. Mary Helen. I will never be able to mend my mistakes, but I do know now how to save you from the consequences once and for all. Be always assured of my fatherly devotion and affection. Never doubt it, come what may. You must know that everything will turn out for the best. I am determined to protect you whatever the price I have to pay, and so be confident and serene in times of ordeal. With all my love, your ever proud father. <laughs> oh, okay. Huh? It, it stuck. Saw it. Amber crystals. Oh yeah. Dear friend, please come and join us. We must meet about the ongoing operations in Paris. A boat will be waiting for you in Calais, and we'll take you to Dover in England. From there, a carriage will take you to the port of Tintagel, where a frigate will be waiting for you and other guests, so you can meet up with me on my island as quickly as possible. I await your arrival. Lord William Mortimer. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm still looking for him. I'm just making sure that like, if there's anything that I missed from the first time that I ever entered this room that I get it now. Okay. Go this one. I couldn't go out here last time. I was ah, there he is. There's Peru, anyways. So before I approach, before I approach him. Interesting. Yeah, let's 
Let's talk to Pedro. Leave me, Dorise. I don't feel like talking. <laughs> Your door was ajar, and well, given the state of your room, I, I was worried. It's none of your business. Very well. I'll leave you then. See you tomorrow, monsieur. Okay. So... I'm just gonna go into Bonaparte's room. This could be really bad, but hey... See if I missed anything in here. It's Carmelite water. They say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. Oh my god. It's a beautiful weapon. A Levy Damask blade. It's marked with the initials of the manufacturer in Versailles. My dearest son, I'm writing to implore you to act quickly. The situation is rapidly worsening here. Power Lee continues to steer our motherland, Corsica, toward open warfare between France and England. His men are everywhere. We are obliged to go into hiding and are unable to remain in the same place for more than two days. I wouldn't be surprised if they targeted us soon. Make haste, my son. You hold our destiny in your hands. Your loving mother, Maria Letizia Bonaparte. Those that just joined the stream, welcome, welcome, thank you for joining. A bicorn decorated with a cockade, it must belong to a French soldier. It's Napoleon. The dear Monsieur Bonaparte, in reply to your demand of enthronement, 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 oh my jeez, <laughs> demand of enthronement into our society, and hereby inform you that unfortunately, you do not meet the criteria required to become a member of the Golden Dawn. Ha! We are, however, honored by the interest you have shown in our research and activities. We have no doubt that your keen interest for the occult sciences will one day allow you to join us. And in anticipation of that day, please accept the expression of our full consideration. Sarah de Roche. Anything else I'm missing in here? The Battle of Alexander at Issus, or how Alexander the Great triumphed over King Darius. Yet another one with delusions of grandeur. The Beaucaire Dinner. It hasn't been signed yet, but there's a letter with it. Do it free. Do it, it isn't free. <laughs> That's some quality paper. And that handwriting. I'd say it's Mortimer's. My dear Bonaparte, as promised, here are the few pages that I recommend you publish within the next few months. We both know that it's sheer lack of time that printed you from stringing these lines together yourself. The ideas are yours, though. No need to feel indebted. Your success will suffice for the good of all. So, Bonaparte is going to publish a book that he didn't write. That crafty little rascal. Alright, now. Wait, what? Okay. I just meant put it down. Dang. Oh. Wait.
Oh, I thought I saw something show up right Wait. What is dinging? There's something here. There's a picture. Book. I thought I saw a little dot show up there, but I guess not. See if I can get to the other side. Oh, we lost that one person. That's sad. Oh, I can't get in there. I can get in there. Never mind. There's like a whole section that I can't get into. Person Gatorix throws down his arms at the Caesar by Royer. Two great army chiefs. My dear Anatolian, as previously agreed, I would like to ask you to join us in January on my island to participate in the high society meeting organized for the occasion. We shall be able to continue our discussion about our project for a new order for France. I have a proposition to make to you concerning your wish to put a strong leader at the head of France. I trust you to be discreet as to your coming. See you soon. Lord William Mortimer. Yeah, I'm gonna go check the main floor here in a sec. I just I haven't I haven't been in here. I don't think. French actor Talma is Nero and Britannicus, the last emperor of the Caesar dynasty. Stupid chair, man. Okay. Uh oh. Give me a second, gotta plug in my controller. She's dying. And we're good. <laughs> All right. I would like to come in. I am sorry, sir, but that is not possible for the moment. Can you tell me where I can find Duke Manuel, please? Alas, I do not know, sir. I can only assure you he is not in the small salon. <laughs> that makes it I'm sound like for someone. he is. Tell me at least who's in there so I don't needlessly go looking around for hours. Uh, Duchess Hillsborough is speaking with Sir Gregory, sir. The other guests have gone back to their rooms through the other side. No, they have not. Why do you ask? Sir Gregory's orders, sir. Very well. Thank you. Doesn't make Odious. sense, but okay. through the other side, right? I love how there's just like a bunch of monarch butterflies in here. I've already looked at all those. I've already looked at all those.
Okay. Oh, he's. Can I play the heart? No. But I found him. Duke Manuel? Well, well. Monsieur de Richet, I was not expecting you. I am not in the mood, sir, I warn you. What do you want from me, sir? I see you're still feeling under pressure. Since your arrival, I've noticed that you've been on the defensive. <laughs> it seems to me that Monsieur Perru has a knack for getting your back up. That is the least you can say. Indeed, I was warned. I knew what to expect. For God's sake, why in the hell did your people execute their king? Have the French gone stark, raving mad? There are nothing but monarchies in power in Europe. They will all come crashing down on you. We shall see. It might well turn out to be the opposite. <laughs> you certainly do not lack for audacity, young man. Just tell me one thing, monsieur. Why did you side with Mortimer? He is alone, isolated. The United States can do nothing to help you. And France is surrounded by over ten countries just waiting for the world to pounce. Really, I do not see why you choose Mortimer. Best. Yeah, okay. The Golden Order, my friend. The Order is everywhere. We come from France. We are present <coughs> in the United States, England, and many other countries. We have ambitions and the means to carry them out. You'll see, once all hell breaks out and your English support starts to fade away, the Order is an international organization. It matters little what governments do. Otherwise, why would Mortimer have gone to the trouble of inviting my mother? Hmm. Ah. If you are right. Sir Gregory has got it all wrong. Tell me, do you really believe Spain has any interest in ceding Louisiana to France? Duke Manuel, for Spain, I don't know. But for you, I'm convinced that Lord Mortimer will thank you generously. Ah, uh, you would not be trying to bribe me, would you? Nothing could be further from my mind. It would be an insult to believe that someone such as yourself might have a practical attitude towards its virtue. Even so, it is only natural that you be supported and encouraged if you were to follow Lord Mortimer, isn't it? Indeed, for services rendered, it would be natural for me to receive compensation for the time spent achieving such an undertaking. Yes. Naturally. And, given your status, my Lord Duke, the compensation would have to be considerable. Naturally. Tell me one last thing. What would I gain from all this? Ah. Oh, you're not gonna let me use it? Okay. Hmm. It's not. Oh. It's not even gonna tell me which one is best. Wait. Oh, that didn't help at all. I'm sure that Lord Mortimer will be very appreciative. He's always supported those who have given him help. And you know well that he has every means to do so. That at least is true. Come on, you fool. Give it up. You're trapped like a rat. Monsieur, I am astounded. I did not think you capable, but you have succeeded. I will be more wary of you the next time. Nonetheless, if you can guarantee Lord Mortimer's support, then yes. You can count on my vote when the time comes. However, I expect you to be discreet with regard to my former partners, without which our agreement would become null and void. Of course, my Lord Duke. You can count on me. Lord Mortimer will be delighted to hear the news. I hope you know what you are getting into, Louis. I bid you good luck. Good night, my Lord Duke. See you tomorrow. Well, that's one thing out of the way. The only thing left to do is wait for the conference oh, yeah. to resume tomorrow morning. Oh. Time to go to bed. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting thing to study for sure. 
Um, but I've been doing it for my whole life, so. You can see why I like this game. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Gonna have to get a drink soon. Probably gonna end it. Um, once I do the level up thing that I think is going to happen. Is this my room? Yes. I've been on for two hours, 15 minutes. Holy jeez. That time goes by fast, eh? No, well, it does for me, anyways. <laughs> and then I gotta get to editing. Hoot hoot. Good evening, well, how Monsieur Le Francais. Duchess, you're here. <laughs> Mr. What French. a charming surprise. <laughs> I'm beginning to think you can't Thanks, be man. without me. Thank you for you joining me. You have managed to penetrate my armor, sir. Am I disturbing you, perhaps? That's not what I said. Ah, by the way, you surprised me during the conference. Why is that? Well, you are going to lose. Why stay with Lord Mortimer? I believe he has every chance of winning. My, you are a rash one. However, if ever you want to change sides, please feel free to let me know. But tell me, you didn't come here to try and make me change my mind, did you? That's the last thing on my mind. Although you would have everything to gain by it. Clap. Do you perhaps know something that I don't? Come on, Emily. It's time you lay your cards on the table. Ah. Uh, which one, left or right? If you know something I don't about Lord Mortimer, Kay. now's the time. I don't want to speak ill of him, but in certain circles, you can't exactly say he has a good reputation. Continue. Well, there have been instances where he has used people, then gotten rid of them once he no longer seemed to need them, Louis. He makes fine mm -hmm. promises, makes you feel valuable, tests you. But beware. I'm worried that something might happen to you. Are you advising me to change sides as a precaution? I'd rather say, as a safety measure. Louis, if you trust me, you ought to ask yourself why I have chosen home. You do trust me, don't you? Of course, Emily. Admit, though, that it does make you think. There's still time, you know. Join us, before it's too late. <coughs> I'm gonna stay with daddy. Oh, uh, uh, I don't know. Stay. Unfortunately, my word is my bond. I don't want to leave Lord Mortimer in the lurch. Very well, as you wish. It's up to you to decide. Tell me, are these visits to Mortimer's always so intense? Yes and no. My sister doesn't normally disappear like she has. Any news of your mother? <laughs> Still nothing. And you? Any news of your sister? No, but, I went with. but knowing her, I'm persuaded she's on someone's trail. You'll see. Good call. She'll surprise us all. If only you knew, Emily. You're right. We must remain positive. I'm sure it won't be long before she turns up. My thoughts, too. She is Duchess Hillsborough, after all. And as such, she is capable of anything. I am sure that you'll appreciate her. You'll see. No doubt about that. And it might turn out that you prefer her. 
to me. Who knows? Huh, what? They're twin sisters. I'm gonna say that I like her more. Maybe Indeed. so? Okay. Who knows? You like to play with fire, Louis. Can we change subject, please? I didn't oh. come here to go Whap. through all that again. Of course, it's late. You're right. Whap. Here we go again. My friends, do not worry. I assure you that Lord Mortimer's plan will never see the light of death. I shall deal with informing our allies, but for the time being, I need you to make a stand. What do you think about Monsieur de Richet? I don't know yet. I feel there's great potential in it. He looks like he can be trusted, and uh, Duchess Hillsborough. Why isn't she here? She's busy. Don't worry about her. Oh, isn't it time to replace her? Not so fast, sir. She is an important figure. You want to have a little more faith in her. What are we going to do about Washington? He will be a hard nut to crack on our chessboard. He is Mortimer's king. Don't worry. Mr. President only wants one thing. To keep his dear America. He won't jeopardize everything he has achieved on a whim. He has been serving Mortimer for quite some time. It won't be easy to bring him around. Do you feel all right, Mr. Godoy? You haven't said a word. Please, excuse me, gentlemen. I feel tired. Oh, I see. I think it is high time you left us then. Now! He knew I was there. Watching. In astral form. What? Ooh. Interesting. She pumped me for information, I guarantee you. That's what she was trying to do. Yeah, right? It's interesting that he was able to hey, catch Emily? on to that. I was there because, but he was tired. Emily? Are you there? No, man. She left like a good girl. Just kidding. <laughs> Sir, the conference is about to begin. You are expected in the conference room. Tell them I'm coming. Thank you. Game is back on. Oh. <laughs> okay. I have like my friends. The conference is oh, about wow. to begin. Please excuse me if I trouble you be bad. with my project. I understand that you might well have a few questions to ask. As you know, the final vote will be cast in a few days. This morning's aim is to answer your questions and check the temperature of your respective positions so that we may reach a greater understanding. As always, Lord Mortimer. Uh, we parted in perfect disagreement, my lord. Where would you like us to take it from? Come, sir. Please let William believe he still has a chance of winning us over. Otherwise, his imprecations will let panache and we shall be bored stiff. Oh, let me reassure you, I am convinced that a good night's sleep has brought sound advice, and that this morning will be even more interesting. Therefore, I would like to go around the table in order to hear everyone's first impressions. Well, I am still firmly against it, even though my choice won't count. Against. 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 And you, Duke Manuel? Well, you see, uh, it is more complicated than it. it uh, Come, Gregory. Don't try to impress my guests, please. They are not your guests. Gregory, 
Anyone under my roof is, by definition, my guest. You included. I would be very grateful if you would let my guests speak. Duke Manuel, you were saying you still had some doubts? Well, you see, the situation has changed since last night. What's going on here, my Lord Duke? You see, I gave it some thought during the night. New arguments have come to light. What do you mean, Duke Manuel? Sir Gregory, I regret to inform you that Spain will not support you in this operation. I vote for. <laughs> Moreover, in response to arguments brought to my attention, I declare war on France. What? Oh, what shit. Is he doing? If you think France is afraid of you, you are dreaming. Over ten nations rise against you, young man. And you behave like a yapping little dog? When the French armies are at your door, my Lord Duke, you will change your tune. Well, as for me, I am for Lord Mortimer's project. Despite Duchesse Hillsborough's overwhelmingly convincing nocturnal intentions. What? So Emily was playing at trying to win over guests last night? It was nothing more than a friendly little chat, of course. How could it be otherwise? And by the way, remember me to your husband when you see him. And you, President Washington, Ooh. what is your position? Oh, of course. <coughs> well, that leaves just yourself and Monsieur Peru, Louis. You're all making me sick. Look at yourselves. What? You are pathetic! Have you been drinking or what? There you are, quibbling away. My Lord do this, and Madame du that. You know very well that we're nothing but puppets on a damn string. Jacques, come in. Let's end the charade. It's over. Jacques, get spicy. My lord, thank you. Thank you for everything you've done for me over the years. But it didn't come for free. And now I see the price is too high to pay. I'll stop. Come, Jack. We'll talk it over. No, I'm finished. I want my freedom back, my lord. I shall no longer work for you. I don't like him, but he has been actually kind of nice to me. <sighs> Stop him. Wait. To reset. You just can't help it, can you? Oh, no. Stop trying to play the hero, man. Monsieur, I know I don't really know you, but... You seem like a decent person. Uh, I can point I back. So many horrible things. You blame yourself. I can see that. Everything's not lost. I don't want to do bad things anymore. You can take control of yourself again. You can fix whatever it is you've done. Do you really believe that? Of course, Jack. You'll have all the time you need. Look. You've done as much as you can. You have nothing to fear. Your daughter is safe. Shut up! Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping bringing up his daughter would kind of. Uh, can't save them all, right? Some good XP. All right. Get four. Wow, there's a... Uh... Yeah, I'm going to do logic for sure. And vigilance. You want to pick one? Hit conviction, politics, diversion, linguistics. Another one in the vigilance, questioning, logic. I'm not too worried about agility. What are you thinking?
Logic. There we go. And I'm gonna put one more into politics. Go. I'm gonna pick a book. I wanna pick some books. Depending on what happens after this load, I'm probably gonna end the stream here. We'll just see where this goes first. Uh, this feels like the longest load yet. Oh. I don't understand. I spoke to him only recently. Monsieur Perrault has lost his mind. It's obvious. Yet another yeah, he lost way it all for the, the French to make a spectacle of themselves. Well, once again, it has worked. My friend, let us settle down, please. We are all in shock, of course. Let us praise Louis' gesture anyway. You did what you could. Yes, it was very noble of you, Louis. It wasn't your fault. <laughs> there was nothing else you could have done. I think everyone okay. needs a little rest. Can you stay a moment? Of course. Yes, Daddy. <laughs> Oh, I really want the rest of these. Like, look at that. Three skills up. Three skills up. All right. We get three bucks. Etiquette. Linguistics. Diversion. Conviction. Logic. Other linguistics. Cultism and agility. I'm acting too sus. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing it a little sociopathic, I guess. <laughs> So I'm gonna go linguistics and etiquette, and then you can pick the last one. Occultism? Is that your final answer? Dundee done. All right. So I'm going to leave it with a cliffhanger, dude. <laughs> Sorry to do it to you, but two and a half hours. I need a break and I need some food. I want to thank you again, Rock, for joining me on another great adventure in the occult and this murder mystery. Even though we have yet to find out where the hell my mother is, we have uh, definitely been playing our part on the the global front so thank you thank you for helping me make decisions uh, it's definitely a lot funner this way than if I was to just sit down and play it myself uh, so until tomorrow again thank you and uh, this has been Pan Morgenstern from EC Witch Gamers playing the council I hope you have a good night. <laughs>